Hey guys, it's Fuzzy Tech here with an all new video, and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can create call to action button all over thirds uh, using Adobe Photoshop. So make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get started. Go to File, New, and make a complete HD 920 by 1080p. And grid around here, you can go to View and click on Extra so that you can see these grids. If you're not having grids, then simply go and Show and click on Grid. Yeah, so we're gonna start by creating shape. You can use your pen tool to do so. We are press M, Ctrl plus Enter, right click and fill, and that's gonna be color. Okay, okay, that's blue color. I'm gonna use the blue color for now. Now go to extras, Ctrl plus D, Z, and move out of it. So uh, just simply Ctrl plus T and flip it horizontally. So that's what I wanted. Really, I wanted that. So let's go to, or maybe just name it as the layer, or maybe the blue I'm gonna name it blue and let's create another so let's go back to our tool and make sure it's complete white and first of all I'm gonna increase the size a bit just and hold shift and move around like that now go back press U to select the rectangular tool so right click rasterize layer and go get it below this one and I'm gonna decrease the size something kinda like so and I'm gonna place it right around here and I'm gonna rasterize it and make it above the rectangle and just simply right click and create clipping mask like that and you're gonna see around here and yes that's cool that's pretty much cool so I'm gonna name it leaf if in case I can spell it out perfectly just simply leaf and go to blending options and make a color overlay and make sure the color is complete black and decrease the opacity to something like maybe to 40 and check ok so here's what you gotta do next so I'm gonna simply use the rectangular tool again and I'm gonna make a rectangle like this um, we're gonna add a shine to it so just simply select a grayish color uh, I'm gonna go to color selection and make a bit yeah, grayish color like that and let's right click and rasterize their style and get it below this one and I'm gonna press control plus and increase it from here I'm gonna switch it around like that and that's gonna be like and so just simply like that right click and create clipping mask so that it hides around here go to uh, blending options and make it overlay so that we can get uh, pretty much right below the face that's gonna add a bit of shine to it so we can use the adjustment layer button too just simply go and click on brightness and contrast and I'm gonna get this below this one and only for this I'm gonna increase the brightness or maybe increase it a bit and increase the contrast just a bit so that looks pretty much cool so let's adjust the rectangle that really goes off from here and I'm gonna get it around here this leaf or maybe around here that or maybe around more of a that would be pretty much perfect so the next thing you gotta do is just head over to blue go to blending options and make a drop shadow make sure it's 85 percent and the distance is 10 12 and 12 or maybe I'm gonna decrease the distance to 8 check okay then you're gonna see a bit of brightening effect from there and let's go to leaf and go to filter to blur and I'm gonna click on not maybe lens blur won't work out on it so simply go to because we have really rasterized it and we have it uh, overlaid up so I'm gonna make a motion blur motion blur will be pretty much perfect so let's make an angle of 60 degrees and distance of 5 so that's gonna be going up to maybe 8 8 and check ok that's gonna blur it out a bit that looking pretty much cool so so the next thing you can do is to import your logos just simply going to file and place embed I'm gonna find out my goal logo and import it now so when you have logo stuff done press ctrl plus t decrease the size and I'm gonna zoom in press edge that's gonna lose a bit of proportion for it and I'm gonna name it like that like and so and simply click on text and make it any font like you want I'm gonna be using Madam Clara here and let's make another one and type in frost z 
and increase the font size from 50 to 50 and that's looking cool press V and zoom out a bit so that you can see it in a much more better way go to blending options make a stroke and make sure the stroke color is complete white and make a stroke to 2 or maybe 5 2 looks pretty much 3 3 is perfect so that you can see what you're writing out there so rasterize the layer because we do not want logo to mess up I'm gonna set the logo and use the arrow keys to move it out of it so yeah that's done pretty much cool and the next thing you can do is to type out anything like subscribe press V control plus T increase the size the way you want that's gonna do the work now simply go to subscribe and make sure it's drop shadow and a stroke make sure the stroke is complete white and that's uh, maybe for what is going to do the work make sure to go get back here and press 85 and make it 8 12 and 12 that's going to do the work okay and right now you can type in here or you can change the text like frosty take around here and type in make sure to subscribe yeah so you can write a text like this rectangle uh, make sure it's get it uh, back to normal normal and decrease the opacity instead of turning it to overlay so that's pretty much cool and you can use this out anywhere and you can simply create a group so that doesn't mess uh, messes up every time and get this back around here and make sure it's clipping mask enabled and this is also clipping mask enabled and that's going to do the work so that was it for today and it's also given below in the description this whole file you can download it out from there make sure to like and subscribe as for tech and i'm sending you